okay uh are, well i suppose it's the one the three the four and the eight so it's the one plus the three plus the four plus the eight excuse me and the ranks for group c are the two let me actually just roll back here to group a again yeah okay group a okay and um, the five and the six the five and the six in group a are actually actually have 5.5 .5. so the 220s in group a actually have ranks 5.5 .5. so let me start this again here ignore that okay so let's do the ranks the ranks of group a so all the values in in group a have a rank you can see that this is 5.5 .5 plus this one here is 5.5 .5. Uh, plus this one here is 7.5 okay and uh, plus this one here is 10 and that's the four observations in group a uh, the ranks of group b well group b you can see that this value is a one plus this value here is a three plus this value here is ranked at four and you can see that this value here this 25 is actually ranked at 7.5 so plus 7.5 and then finally we have the ranks of group c uh, is equal to well this is ranked at position two plus the next C along the way are these two here, which are ranked at position 10. So it's a 10 plus a 10, which gives us all of our ranks. So what we got 5, 10, uh, 20, 27, uh, 28, 28.5 uh, is the total ranks for group A. Uh, group B, we have 1 and 3 is 4, that's 8. Uh, we 8 and 7.5 and 7 gives us 15.5. And then finally for uh, ranks of group C is equal to 20. Is equal to 20. 22 if I'm not mistaken okay so let's just maybe write down all of our values now all right so what we have is uh, we have let's just write it down here we have the ranks of group A is 28.5 the ranks of group B uh, are equal to 15.5 uh, let's say the ranks of group C the ranks of group C is 22 okay and uh, what else do we need well we need to know we need to know the sample sizes of the groups we need to know the total number of observations okay well the total number of observations across all the groups is 4 and 4 and 3 okay which gives us 11 in total so actually n is equal to 11 okay uh, the sample size for group for the different groups so n of a is equal to 4 uh, n of b is equal to 4 and n of c is equal to three so that's all these are all the parameters that we require okay so these are all of our parameters that we require to do the hypothesis test so now we're ready to go so let's do the hypothesis test so our hypothesis okay, the hypothesis has a null position and it has an alternative the null is there is a difference difference okay in the ranks in the ranks across the groups okay uh, <coughs> I'm oh, sorry there is no, no no difference there is no difference in the ranks yeah whereas the alternative is there there is a difference okay a difference okay in in the ranks across the groups okay that's important so the null position is that there's no difference the alternative is that there is a difference the significance level for the test the probability of committing a type 1 error that's incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis when we shouldn't have okay and uh, we'll set alpha is equal to 0 0.05 the test statistic test statistic okay well the test statistic is is h is equal to it's equal to 12 there's the test statistic here let's just get that back up again okay it's 12 divided by big n times small n plus one so it's 12 divided by the total sample size is 11 11 times 11 plus 1 okay and this times it's times the square of the sums of ranks for each of the groups divided by the group sizes so the first rank group is 28.5 so it's 20.8.5 squared divided by the group size uh, which is 4 plus the next one is 15.5 squared divided by 4 sample size plus the next one is is 22 to be squared divided by 3 okay and what we need to subtract from that is three times the total sample size uh, the total size across all the groups which is 11 plus one okay which gives us a test statistic let me just run this here okay so we have uh, 12 divided by um, in this case it's 11 it's 11 multiplied by 12 okay which is going to give us 11 okay if i'm not mistaken oh it's going to give us uh, 0 0.09 okay so let's say so h h is equal to 0 0.09 times this factor here well what is it it's 28.5 squared 
divided by 4 okay, plus it's 15.5 squared divided by 4 okay, plus it's 22 squared divided by 3 which gives us this factor here which when we look at it from a decimal it's 420, 424 it's 424.46 .46 to two decimals and what we need to take away from it is minus 3 times 12 which is minus 26 so when we look at this our test statistic is equal to 0 0.09 times 424.46 and we have to take away from that 36 which gives us a test statistic of 2.2014 now the question is, this is a measurement of the magnitude of the differences in the ranks, 